Hello, I'm Dr. Chad Clark, the Director of the Emergency Department at Parkview Community Hospital in Riverside, California. Uh, there's a sticker on my shirt here. It says I was just immunized, and I was literally minutes ago. I, I would like to make this little video to explain a few things about the vaccine, how it's safe, how it's not rushed, and also how the side effects of the vaccine are, are nothing close to as serious as the potential side effects of actually getting COVID-19. So let me start with uh, whether this vaccine, and many people are scared that it was rushed somehow, that unfortunately the advertisement through the administration of our government, I think was advertising how fast we can get things done, but I wanna assure you this was not rushed, in fact, if you remember SARS-1 back in the early 2000s, and then another coronavirus infection uh, called MERS uh, in 2008, and then now this SARS-2, they started trying to make a vaccine back 19 years ago. So we have data and research for 19 years. We had a 19 year head start on making this vaccine. They were able to take out all that information that they had set aside and worked on in order to uh, produce this vaccine. Not only that, there's a huge change in science over the last year. Artificial intelligence, which allows cars to self-drive, is also being used in drug development. Almost every biopharmaceutical company uses supercomputers now to model possible proteins that could be used for both medications and for viruses. Instead of the old way of coming up with a vaccine and it taking 10 years, they're pretty much guessing in the lab, just making certain proteins to try to hook onto the virus and stop it. Now with supercomputers, the supercomputer in a short amount of time can look at a trillion different protein sequences that may work on a virus. And literally, it gives you a hundred samples that may work. And it even ranks which ones look like they'll work more. So when this virus was gene sequenced, it's a, a single strand of RNA. It's basically a long protein. It was sequenced back in January in a matter of days. Moderna and Pfizer both uh, over the course of three to four days with using the supercomputer and using all of the previous research had 100 or 200 possible combinations of antibody proteins that would neutralize the virus. That's unprecedented. And I would say that from this day forward, it, it will be a new way of making viruses now. Never will it take 10 years. Never will it take five years. I would say going forward, it will never take longer than a year, a year and a half to come up with a vaccine using this new technology. So don't be afraid that this was rushed. I will tell you that the safety trials of these vaccines go through the same safety trials any medication has gone through. Phase one, phase two, full phase three trials. 35,000 people were given this vaccine and watched for over two months to make sure it was safe and it's completely safe. Do not be afraid of it. Um, one thing, and I'm not trying to scare anybody. This isn't, this isn't what this is about. We're treating these patients in our emergency room, which is overwhelmed every day. Um, Many of the leading virologists and epidemiologists across the country, from Stanford, from Johns Hopkins, from Yale, from Harvard, they're trying to quantify how much more serious of a risk it is getting COVID-19, the actual illness, versus the side effects of a vaccine. Some have come up with a number, it's about 10,000 times more dangerous to get the disease than it is from any side effect you may get from the vaccine. Is your arm gonna hurt? I hope so, because that means the virus is working. May you have a low grade fever? Again, I hope so. That's a hallmark of a virus or a vaccine, I'm sorry, that is working well. It has to turn your body's immune response on to make the antibodies to protect you. So 
I urge you to get the vaccine. And, and I hope, honestly, with all sincerity, that you have a sore arm, that you maybe have some body aches the next day, and that maybe you have a low-grade fever for a day, because that means and will give you proof that it's actually working. To tell you about how bad the side effects of getting COVID-19 could be, I can only tell you of the data that's been given to me so far. Number one, if you're hospitalized with COVID-19, and I'm not saying intubated where they put a breathing tube and hook you onto a machine, but if you're just hospitalized and you need oxygen to help you get through your hospitalization and then you're discharged, studies right now show that about one in 10 people who have the illness and were hospitalized and then discharged have trouble with daily functions. Uh, they have trouble tying their shoes. They have trouble remembering anything that was told to them. Uh, they may have trouble dressing. I mean, one in 10, that's staggering. Another study of patients discharged from the hospital five months later, so we're looking at patients that were infected five months ago, hospitalized and then discharged, one third, one in three have a 30% reduction in their lung function. And we don't know if that's permanent. We have no idea. We'll only know with longer studies. So there are, you know, 50 year olds, 60 year olds that love to play tennis as an example. They used to play one or two sets on the weekends with their friends. They can't play more than one or two games of tennis and they're winded. They can't walk on their three mile walk that they used to do because they got to stop seven or eight times. And that's five months after being discharged. So please don't be afraid of any side effects of this vaccine. It's no different than a flu vaccine. It works. The only way this country and world is going to get back on track and open up and not have to wear these masks and be able to open all our businesses up is if we get herd immunity. And the only way to get herd immunity is to get sick with Corona, the virus 19, COVID-19, and you don't want that, or to get vaccinated until 60 to 70% of our nation's population and the world's population for that matter is uh, vaccinated or sick, this uh, disease will not be over. So I can't stress it enough. Uh, please get vaccinated. Thank you.